Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of decimals, specifically how we can find them as specific points on a number line, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So you see number line is not a complete number line starting from zero. It starts at 16, moves all the way up to 18. And we have four points along the number line, W, X, Y, and Z. And what we need to do is, starting in fourth grade, we need to start thinking of units that are smaller than one. When we first started to learn to count in kindergarten and first grade, the smallest we could count by was one. One, two, three, four, five. But now we're in the world of decimals, so there's a whole host of numbers between 16 and 17. Now to figure out how to label this number line, let's count how many spaces there are in between. I'm just going to put a little tick mark right there in red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So just like I thought, these are decimals, which means these are tenths. So we can label this right here. I'm going to label it two different ways. So you can label it 16.1, or if you wanted to label it as a mixed number, it's also 16 and 1 tenth, because that's what the point 0.1 really is. It's that 16 and 1 tenth. So I'm going to write this next one as 16 and 2 tenths. And if you want, you can label it as a mixed number as well. And you see where that's going to go. So this is, next one is going to be 16.3. So this first letter that we're looking at is going to be W is going to equal 16. I'll make it nice and big. 0.4. Or we can call it 16 and 4 tenths because that's what the point 0.4 means. So you can le keep labeling all the way down. If you want, you could start from 17. If you want to find x, you can move backwards. What's one smaller, one tenth smaller than 17? Well, that's going to be 16.9 or 16 and 9 tenths. It's going to be that x. So this is 17. So we have 17 and one tenth and two tenths. So this y is going to be 17 and three tenths. You can write it two different ways. And then we see this midpoint here is going to be your point 0.5. So that's going to be your point 0.6, point 0.7. So our Z is going to be 17.8 or 17 and 8 tenths. Now the tenths are fairly easy. Let's see what happens when we look at hundredths. Now you see we have three different numbers as boundaries on our number line. 3.4, 3 and 4 tenths, 3 and 5 tenths, 3 and 6 tenths. But how can we even get smaller than tenths? Well, if we want to get smaller than tenths, we need to look at the hundredths. So what's going to help us here is if I'm going to put an extra zero after that four, I'm going to put a zero in the hundredths place. So three and four tenths, let me write that here, is the same as three and forty hundredths. It's the same thing, just goes to a different place value. And I'm going to do the same thing to change my three and five tenths to my three and fifty hundredths. Same thing with my 3.6 is going to turn into 3.60 or 3 and 60 hundredths. Now I think we can see what's going to come in between each of these numbers. Because when we're looking at the hundredths, now this is going to be 3.41. And this D right here that we're looking at is going to be 3 and 42 hundredths or 3 and 42 hundredths. So once you change from the tenths to the hundredths, you're going to count up like you were between 40 and 50, between 50 and 60. So then this is going to be 43, that's going to be 44. The midpoint, that makes sense, that E is going to be 45. 3 and 45 hundredths, or 3 and 45 hundredths, they're both the same, just get used to seeing it both in decimal and mixed number form. Then we move all the way up here to 3.5 or 3.50, and we have F is next, so that's 51, 52, 53. So this is going to be 3 and 54 hundredths. And we can write that two different ways. And then we're also going to have this H. That's 55, 56, 57, and that's going to be 58. 3 and 58 hundredths, 3 and 58 hundredths. And just to make sure that we didn't get off anywhere, let's keep counting, let's make sure it goes up. That's 58, that's 59, and that's 60, which matches right here. You always want to double check to make